Hi, this video is brought to you by Tech Direct Archive. In this video, I'll be showing you how to add another hard drive to a virtual machine in Hyper-V. Sometimes you may want to install applications or store files outside the C drive. This will require a second and even a third hard drive to be configured on the virtual machine. And you can start using these drives as the backup drives on your system. So in this video, uh, I'm going to quickly show you how you can add another hard drive to a virtual machine in a simple and short steps. So let us confirm the present um, hard drive that is on this uh, virtual machine. So this is a virtual machine. You can see that we currently have just the C drive on it so i'm going to close this virtual machine now um this particular server i'm going to close it now so after closing it let me go into the hyper-v manager uh, let me stop this from running let me turn it off so it's off now. So on this Hyper-V manager, um, this is my virtual machine. So I'm going to right click it. On new, I'm going to select um, hard disk. So I'm going to select hard disk. So you can just you can start following the uh the wizard just click next i'm going to select uh, vhdx that is my disk format click next then on this um choosing of disk uh, type I'm going to select um, fixed size. I want to, I want the size of the disk to be fixed. So another reason why um, selecting fixed size is because uh, it comes with a better performance and high levels of disk uh, activity. So um, I'm going to select next now. So I'm going to specify the name and location of the virtual hard disk uh, file. So um, let me give this tech direct. Tech direct disk. Tech direct disk. Then um, the location, let me select my D drive. Let me select the folder VM. So that is that. That is uh, the name of my virtual disk and also the location. So um, I'm going to click next now. So on this configured disk uh, page, uh, this is where I'm going to create uh, the size of my um, hard drive, the virtual hard disk I'm adding. So I'm going to let me just select, let me just uh, enter 10, 10 gig, 10 gig. So um, I'm not making use of this other selection. Copy the contents of the specified card disk. We are now going through that route. Um, also copy the content of the specified virtual hard disk that we, we don't need that. So I'm going to create um, the new blank virtual hard disk and I'm making use of uh, 10 GB, 10 gigabytes. So I'm going to click next now. So this is a summary of everything we just configured 
so um what you just have to do now is to click on finish so you just wait briefly for it to complete then after this we, we are going to move to the next session we are going into uh hyper v settings So it's done. So we are moving into the Hyper-V settings now. So after the virtual disk, virtual disk is created successfully, then we need to um, click on this Corsi controller. How can we get to this Corsi controller? Um, I'm going to make use of, um, we are using this Windows Server 2022. We're adding a virtual disk to it. So I'm going to right click this now. Um, I'll click settings. So inside these settings, um, then um, you will see this Corsi controller here. This Corsi controller. Then you will see our drive by the right here. So what you just need to do is to click on this hard button. So click hard. So once that is added, then this next screen will come up. You will see virtual hard disk. So you need to, um, there's also physical hard disk, but what we are dealing with is a virtual hard disk. So I'm going to browse to um, where we have the virtual Add disk now. I'm going to browse to the location. You know we created we created it the other time. Take direct disk if you remember. So I'm going to browse to it now. It's inside the drive V M. So this is it here. So this is the one we created just now take direct disk so i'm going to select it now and click open so it has been selected now so i can now go ahead to apply it Then click OK. So the next thing now is to power a server. And once my server is up and running, I'm going to uh, open the disk manager or disk management, I mean, uh, to see whether our virtual hard disk is added or not. So I'm going to start my server now. So immediately my server is up and running, then we'll continue the video. So my server is up and running now. If you now check devices and drives, um you will find out that our virtual disk is not added yet so let us go into the disk management now to complete the um, configuration so let us um, open our disk management disk m g m t dot m s c so this should um, this will open a disk management this command.
So, as you can see, we currently have the um, disk management opened. So, this is our disk management. Um, so, you will see, if you look down, you will see disk 1. And it's showing as unknown. Disk, disk 1 showing as unknown. And it is not initialized yet. So what you need to do now is to initialize it. Hmm? You need to initialize it. So how can you initialize it? Just right click it. Then you will see initialize disk. Click on initialize disk. Then once it, um, this page, particular page opens, just select um, GPT. This is what we are making use of. GPT. Note, the GPT partition style is not recognized by all previous versions of Windows. So uh, this is the best. Um, for me, it depends on the kind of partition style that you want, but uh, uh, I prefer using GPT. So you may decide to choose a master boot record. It's, it's all fine. So I'm going to click OK now. So you can see it is now showing as online. So the next thing now is um, to allocate it, to allocate this virtual disk because it's currently showing as uh, unallocated. So um, you still need to right click then you will see this new simple volume just click on it then continue to follow the wizard click next next then um, you can as well assign the following drive letter um, I think what, what do we have before you see we have C and uh, <coughs> excuse me, let's leave it as E. Then I'm going to click next. Then on the format partition, um, we are going to select. Um, let's see, this is default. We can leave it as default. Then the volume label here. We can rename it. Take that. Okay. So then we are going to leave the file system as a NTFS. Yes, we are, we are using NTFS. So um, and leave this default. Perform a quick format. It's going to format it. So now we go to click on next. Then we'll click on finish. That's all. Then this will show. Can you see? It has now been allocated. So we have our drive, tech direct e drive online. It's currently running now. So let us confirm from um, the devices and drives now you can see it's currently showing now so our virtual hard disk have been added to our server we do not have only c drive on this server but we also have e drive which we can also use to back up some of our files so it is um, pretty easy to add an extra virtual disk to your virtual machine and um, you can start using it you enjoy it as quickly as possible and you are good to go so i hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching